Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something about my experience in college, and something that I see other people doing in college. Uh, and it's something that I think there's this widespread behavior out there that doesn't make a lot of sense, and that I think is making a lot of people's experience much more difficult to them. And what I want to talk about is reading books versus taking notes. And I think, like, I don't want to say that taking notes is universally bad, and I don't want to say that reading books is universally better, but I think that in our culture, the culture of being in college, being in university, that I see around me, in this culture I think there's much, much too much emphasis placed on taking notes and studying your own notes, and there is much less emphasis than would be beneficial placed on reading books and understanding books. And why? There are multiple reasons that I feel this way. And the first is my personal experience. I've seen this in many classes, but it played out most uh, pronouncedly in this one psychology class I took. I was taking this class, and it had pretty heavy assigned readings in this dense textbook. It was an interesting and well-written textbook, though. And we were supposed to do the readings before coming to the lecture. And so I would do the full reading, it was quite a lot of work, I had to dedicate like an hour or two to get through this most times before the next class, but like I would do this reading, and then I would come to class, and then I would pay attention in class, I would listen to the professor, and I wouldn't take notes at all. And I didn't do any additional studying for the test, and I got an A in this class. And I noticed that my grade was one of the higher grades in the class, like a lot of people were struggling, um, most of the class had B's or C's, and there were people who were failing the class. And I started talking to other people in this class who were struggling more, because I was curious, I was like, am I particularly talented at this subject? And what I noticed was that I wasn't particularly talented at the subject, the other people just weren't doing the reading. And it seemed pretty obvious to me, like, the, the reading was a lot of time, and there, there was a lot of energy I had to put into understanding that material. And when I did it, the lecture was making sense to me on a much higher level, like, the, the professor would be talking about things that were kind of the trickier points to understand, and kind of tying it together, and also I was getting like this reinforcement of encountering the ideas for a second time, in a different format, like first I was reading them, and then I was hearing them, and seeing them demonstrated in class. And so, like, it, it seemed obvious to me how like the course was designed in a way that it was working for me, and who knows if it would have worked for these other people, but it's like they didn't even give it a chance to work, because they just didn't do the reading. What surprised me though, was that these people were often putting in a lot of effort, like they would be taking notes in class, and then they would study their notes over and over again, before the exam. I started thinking about this, and I'm like, this just doesn't make any sense. Like, especially when you consider comparing what notes are to what the textbook is. What is a textbook? Textbooks are these massive works of creation. Like, I don't know, has anyone ever written a book? Writing a book is a huge project. I would like to write a book someday, but I'm nowhere near doing it. It seems like something that, it's just this huge project that's very intimidating. And textbooks in particular are massive, they're, they're like a lot more work than other types of books, because they're highly technical, especially if it's like a scientific subject, but even if it's not, there's just so much information in them, and it's important, like the information is put together logically, there, there's all this terminology, it's just like, when I think about a textbook, it's just this daunting thing. And the people who create textbooks put tremendous amounts of work into them. It's like years of work goes into these things, and you often have multiple authors. And who are these authors? They typically have PhDs. So you have these people who have studied a subject in depth for like five to seven years to get this specialized degree, and they also, by the time they write a textbook, they typically have quite a few years of teaching experience under their belt. So okay, so you have these experts with PhDs, and they have all this teaching experience, and so they, they have a sense of like how people learn, and then they create this work. 
and they typically collaborate to do it. Like if you look at most science textbooks, social science textbooks, uh, pretty much most textbooks across the board, they usually have multiple authors. They might have two authors, some of them have even more authors. And so they're collaborating to create this work. And then the publisher also helps in different ways, like giving feedback, and then you have like all the formatting and the figures, and just everything in this thing. Like, the more I think about it, like, the more I realize how special a textbook is. It's this, there's just so much that's gone into that. So that's on the one hand, you have this, this thing, this textbook. On the other hand, you have your class notes. What are your class notes? Okay, so your professor probably has a PhD too. They might also be really good at teaching. And they're doing this thing in class. They're like teaching. They are using a projector. Maybe they're writing things on the board. Maybe they're just talking. Maybe they're having you interact or whatever. And you're taking notes. And here is the sort of weak link in the equation. It's you. You are inexperienced. You are not an expert on the subject. You are trying to learn this subject for the first time. So when you take down these notes, the level of sort of refinement or perfection in these notes, it's going to be like wee big compared to this like sizable chunk of expertise that went into creating this textbook. So you have these notes, and there are definitely some advantages to the notes in that they're yours, and you know yourself better than anybody else in the world, and that's not a small thing. So there's some benefits to these notes. But like overall, your notes are just not going to be very good in most cases. And this has been my experience, and it's also kind of been my experience when I look at other people's notes. Uh, I tutor a lot, and so I see people's notes because they bring their notes to me. And people typically have mistakes in their notes. They, they copy things down wrong. Uh, sometimes professors make mistakes, and someone c copies something down accurately, and then the professor made a mistake. And because there wasn't this process in it, the way you have going into the textbook, it doesn't get caught as often. There's this long list of ways in which I find people's notes are just an inferior resource to textbooks. So, why do people spend so much time studying notes, then? I'm not sure. I don't really understand it, because I don't have this tendency to take notes myself, but like, I wanted to throw all this out there, because I don't think it's a coincidence that I focused primarily on reading textbooks in college, and I did very little note-taking. And when I took notes and looked at them, I didn't really study them over and over the way some people do. I just glanced at them for like one specific detail here or there. I think it's not a coincidence that I approached college in this way, and that I found college very easy. And that when I look at other people who focus on this sort of note-taking and then studying the notes, and kind of ignore the textbook, those people seem to have a much harder time in college than I did. I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm not going to say don't ever take notes, but like maybe it would be a good idea to look at your textbook more. Especially when you think about all the expertise and effort that has gone into it. How it is like a refined work of art that is specifically oriented to helping you learn. I've read tons and tons and tons and tons of textbooks, and especially once I got comfortable reading them, I found that most of them are pretty friggin' good. And yeah, that's what I have to say. Thank you.